Can I get one more drum roll, please? Before coming to Elevate, I had no idea on how to stay sober. In 2015, I got a felony. I spent 45 days in jail. I was released and put on four years probation. I was sent to rehab, kicked out for using one in the program, sent back to jail for another 30, then released back to rehab. My kids were taken from my wife and I, and I was told I'd probably lose parental rights unless I could achieve the impossible. No one believed me I could do it. They gave me child discipline, child development, anger management, AODP classes, BI classes. I was the first person in Mendocino County to be given family dependency drug court on top of it all. I had a personal therapist as well as therapy with my son. CPS constantly asked me in the beginning if I wanted to attempt this seemingly impossible schedule. It always upset me when they asked me that because by giving up, that means I would give up my kids. On the second attempt at rehab, I graduated. I did everything they asked me by every single person in every single program. I graduated BI, which is probation's version of drug court, got cert certificates from the judge, probation, even the senator. I graduated every single AODP class. I graduated anger management, all CPS classes, child development, child psychology, child discipline. I was the only one to finish therapy with my son, and in a year and a half, I graduated drug court. I went into it with my wife and ended up finishing it on my own. I divorced my wife and was awarded full custody of my son. I did the impossible. I exceeded expectation. I proved no matter what life throws at me, I could handle it, or so I thought. Shortly after I was done with everything, I relapsed. I stopped going to the gym and doing the things I love. I got too confident and too cocky. I got sober for the wrong reasons. I was not prepared for being a single father. I stopped going to meetings and stopped contributing. I was still on felony probation and got my third dirty drug test after eight months after successfully graduating everything. I was sent to prison to serve my suspended sentence. When I got out August 18, 2018, I had no respect for the system. I felt like they betrayed me. I did everything they told me to do and graduated more programs simultaneously than anybody in that county ever. I did it. I didn't count. It didn't count for anything. They still sent me to prison. I wasn't going to do it their way anymore. I was going to do things my way. I went back to drugs immediately. I ran amok and ran from the law, lying, manipulating, spending a week here, two weeks there in jail on flashes and violations. Eventually, I was tired of running and living that life. I agreed to come to Elevate. That was by far the best decision I made in years. Here at Elevate, I've learned more about addiction and addiction in general than I ever have had in all my programs combined, and that was just in phase one. As I went through the program, I started to realize I, could act, I actually have a fighting chance at long-term sobriety. No program has ever given me so much knowledge about complete lifestyle changes as Elevate. Looking back at where things went wrong last time has never been so clear. And now I need, and how I need to live my life going forward for long-term recovery has never been so clear. The atmosphere of the staff and even the clients change lives on a daily basis. I've never felt staff be so invested in each and every person as I do here at Elevate. Knowing that they want you to be the best version of yourself and have the best possible chance when you leave is an amazing, unique feeling. After going through every program my county had to offer, it still wasn't enough until I got to Elevate. I wish there were more facilities around because every person struggling needs to be elevated. Thank you. Yeah. So now we are...